Good morning everybody my name is Falgun and today we are going to talk about the life cycle of a rhizopus so let us start the topic with the introduction so well first point is the it is called as a bread mold so what it is called so rhizopus tolnifer is called as a bread mold second is the it is it is also a saprophytic mode of nutrition it exhibit actually it exhibit the saprophytic mode of nutrition so well it feeds on a household decaying foods like fruits and vegetables rhizopus tolnifer it causes two kinds of disease so first one is the leak it causes leak disease in the strawberry as well as it causes soft rot disease in the potato apart from that we also have other species like uh, rhizopus uh, oryza and rhizopus uh, nodosus so rhizopus oryza causes the alcoholic fermentation rhizopus nodosus causes the lactic acid fermentation so let us talk about the vegetative structure of an rhizopus so well the vegetative structure is called as an hyphae hy what is hyphae hyphae is nothing but the branches are profusely branched you know uh, profusely branched to form a hyphae so that is the whole about hyphae so number of hyphae branches all together we are seeing it as mycelium so what is coenocytic uh, situation coenocytic it is nothing but it is a condition of a mycelium contains a number of nucleus in a single mycelium uh, here the the in the in between the nuclei there is no cross wall so that is a, that is how uh, the single mycelium contains many nuclei whenever mycelium uh, from the vegetative phase it enters into the reproductive phase at the time what happens is uh, here a black color uh, structure is developed on the mycelium as a result it gives the blackish appearance to the mycelium that resembles or that indicates the that we can understand the uh, mycelium undergone uh, into the reproductive phase from the vegetative phase so mycelium is divided into three high phase first is sporangia four second is uh, stolons and third is rhizoids so for this we are going to discuss uh, very deeply about these three so let us talk about the rhizoids 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 are the repeatedly branched structure which arise from the uh, nodes of a stolons and penetrate into the substratum so main function of a rhizoid is help it helps in encourage and absorption of nutrients and the minerals from the soil so now we are going to talk about the stolons stolons are horizontally parallel to the substratum and they are bit arc so now we are going to talk about the sporangia four sporangia four uh, they develop from the stolons either single or in a many clusters of uh, many groups okay so now they are totally opposite uh, as compared to the rhizoids okay the main function of a sporangia four is it helps in the uh, reproduction so at the tip of a sporangia four it have a vesicle like structure that is called sporangia sporangia is specifically responsible for reproduction if you really like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you like this video and don't forget to share this video